clap for Jesus. We may be seated. As a Christian or a child of God, you need to understand that you are accessible but untouchable. We are what? Accessible but untouchable. Yes, like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he was accessible but untouchable. I know you will not agree with me. You say, ah, but they touched him. They did this and that. Yes. What I mean is that no one can end your life prematurely if it is not the will of God. And no one can stop you. Of course, they can afflict you, but they cannot stop you. That's why I'm saying you are accessible, but untouchable or unstoppable. Maybe this one will be more clear than in untouchable. That is the life of a child of God. Don't be deceived that when you become born again, then Satan will not, you know, fight you. No, he will fight you. He can do anything to disfocus you. But because the one who called you, the one that you believe is there with you, you are accessible but unstoppable. Our viewers, let me acknowledge our viewers from Lusaka. We thank God for your life and we continue praying for you. You are here and we are there. Spiritually, we are together. Even those who are watching us through YouTube and Facebook, you are welcome once again. What we are receiving here, you too, you receive your own. Praise the Lord. And the, when you, you know you become born again, that is when you attract more enemies. More what? More enemies. But the only difference which is there is that you are not standing on your own. It is now Jesus who is standing through you. And the way you are going to answer your enemies, you are not going to answer them the way you used to answer them before you become born again. Because before now, you answer them through fear. But when you become born again, you hold your ground. Because you know that victory is on your side. I want to give you this example of Apostle Paul. Before he became an apostle, he was against the church, persecuting the church, fighting the church. He too became born again the time he encountered Jesus. And Jesus promised him that I'll send you to your people so that you open their eyes. Apostle Paul was arrested and locked up with Paul and Silas. Not because he committed any crime. The reason of just praying for that sister who was, you know, prophesying, telling people the future, but the Spirit of God cannot, you know, allow the devil to continue confessing you know, the things from above which is not from their kingdom. Let me take you to the book of Acts 26. We look at the story of Apostle Paul to encourage you because there are so many people who are complaining. After I did this, after I became born again, after when I paid uh, this, that's when things became hard. Listen to this. Let me just go there to verse 18. I mean 16. 26. Verse 16. This is the confession of Apostle Paul before the governor Agrippa. He was telling them the way he became born again. He was not afraid of the authority. 
because Jesus was behind him to support the way that he gave to him. If I stand here without Jesus, you may not see me tomorrow. Are you there, people of God? Listen to this. Now get up and stand on your feet. I have appeared to you to appoint you as a servant and as a witness of what you have seen. And you will see of me. 17. I will rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I am sending you to them. 18. To open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the powers of Satan to God so that they may receive the forgiveness of sin and the place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. This is Apostle Paul when he was arrested and he appeared before the authority. I want you to learn something out of this message. He became born again. Because of that, the authority now became against him. The man who was working for them for so many years. When Paul appeared before the authority, he testified the way he encountered Jesus. What I'm reading is the confession from an apostle. The one who was telling him this is Jesus. If you go back to 15, Paul asked ask him, he said, who are you? He said, I am Jesus whom you persecute. But now get up and stand on your feet. I have appeared to you. People of God, it is very easy for anyone to say I am a child of God. When things are moving according to what you think that this is the way. You are learning a business. You are learning a ministry. You are in a relationship. You are in marriage. And you say you are a born again Christian. No one is insulting you. No one is telling you you know bad things. You feel good. You can say ba 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 ba. You can pray and you know dance like never before. And you think you are a child of God. For copper to be copper, that copper must be tested. He said, this is the way I received Jesus. For you to answer your enemy, and who is your enemy in this case? Satan. And Satan, you cannot see him walking with a trouser. He will use you no know, different things. Sickness, disease, poverty, rejection, anything evil. And the way you are going to answer them is not according to your thinking or your strength. This is the answer from someone who depends on Jesus. He said, this is the way I encounter Jesus. He told me this. I have appeared to you to appoint you as my servant. Because they were asking him, how come? Who gave you this? Why are you doing this? He said, I encounter Jesus. I encountered who? Jesus. Who appeared to you when you become born again? Maybe you followed your neighbor. Because when a situation is tense in your life, that is when now you need to see who is behind me. Oh, just after getting married, my husband lose what? He was sacked from his working place. God, why? God, why? Apostle Paul never questioned Jesus to say, why? But he, he, listen to this statement. He said, I have appeared to you to appoint you as a servant and as a witness of what you have seen and will see of me. I will rescue you. Take note of this word in verse 17. I will rescue you from your own people. I will rescue you from your own people. And from the Gentiles. I am sending you to them. Being 
born again doesn't mean that everyone will be clapping for you that no he's a man of god yo there must be people who be doubting you and saying bad things about your life it doesn't mean that jesus is not there with you remember the day you encountered him the way that you receive from him that is the strength of your faith Whenever you are facing a challenge, you remember that he said that he, I'll be with you. Jesus did not say, uh, I will rescue you from lion or snakes. He said from your own people. Even within the church, within your family, within your neighborhood, there are people who can rise against you. It doesn't mean that you are not a child of God. Even in business, sometimes you can give. When you give to the church, then you see your business going where? Down. Are you going to give again? Hmm? Are you going to give again? One sister was asking me to say, ah, whenever I give tithe to a pastor, that's when my business will go down. <laughs> can you give again? Nga mwapela, uriyomwa shi mwapela nishi, no bunga buka pira panchila. Learn from Apostle Paul. He did not confess fear or failure or doubt. He knew who was behind him. He said, this is what Jesus taught me. To you, it may sound like it's just a story. It is a reality that you need to face as a child of God. Because you are chosen by God Almighty. Anointed by God Almighty. For this reason, Satan cannot allow you to move freely. He has to check you. He will come in a different way. No, as a child of God, there is no need. Even if you know you, you are sick, it doesn't mean that you are not a child of God. You are a child of God. And that sickness cannot take your life. Others can go. But for you, that sickness will just push you closer to your Father in heaven. The same problem that others are going down, for you, it is just a ladder. When Apostle Paul prayed for this sister in the, in the same book, Acts 16 verse 16, you remember the issue of that girl who was prophesying. He rebuked that spirit. And then the Bible said that the owner of the sister, because they were making money using that sister, became hungry and reported Paul and Silas to the authority. They have brought their own things here. They arrested them, beat them, and locked them up. People of God, you are just preaching the word of God. You delivered someone who was demon-possessed. Because of that, you are arrested. I'm talking to you now. Can you continue praying for people? You will stop. I just prayed for this one. And she's okay. She's healed. They said I've committed the crime. Paul and Silas were locked up. Flocked in the public. It is necessary, people of God, to face challenges. It is necessary to go through these, you know, uh, hard times. It doesn't mean that you are not a child of God. No. The only thing you need to do is to know who is behind you. Because Jesus promised Paul to say, I'm going to rescue you from your own people. I want to encourage you. Be accessible, but unstoppable. Be what? Tell your neighbor, say, be accessible, yes. but unstoppable. Yes. Say it again. Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. yes. Arresting you for doing the right things doesn't mean that you are a bad person. No. If Jesus is on your side, you fear no one. You feel nothing. 
People will be there, can you not sympathize with you to say, no, why are you doing this to this man? This man is innocent. This man is what and what. To you, you, you feel good. It is not your battle anymore. Be accessible, bad, unstoppable. Stop complaining when you face, you know, things that are not, you know, a part of your life. Remember the message I was sharing with you on Sunday. Even enemies, we need them. Without your enemy, who is going to celebrate your success? How are they going to know that Jesus is the same? Yesterday, today, and forever. They were against you, fighting you, persecuting you. Tomorrow, they will see you, you know, sitting on the high, you know, chair. You say, ah, ah, this is the woman. This is the man. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's go to First Peter. First Peter, chapter 1, verse 9. Yes. This is verse 9. But you are a chosen people a loyal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praise of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Let me repeat my reading again. But you are a chosen people, a loyal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praise of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. When you are called by God Almighty, that is when you know Satan will be provoked. I mean, when you become born again, when you run away from darkness, that is an insult to the kingdom of darkness. When the spirit of God is in control over your life, Satan will be restless. Remember what happened to our Savior when he was, you know, led by the Holy Spirit in the wilderness, full of the Holy Ghost. Satan followed him because Jesus was, you know, his stomach was empty. He said, okay, I'll use, you know, anger to say, look, if you are the son of God, turn this stone into what? Into blood. Can Satan advise God Almighty what to do? The answer is no. The answer is no. You are chosen by God. You are a holy nation. You are a special possession of God Almighty. It is not everyone who can say, I am a child of God, and then you believe that, yes, since he said, I'm a child of God. No. It is God Almighty to confirm that, yes, you are mine. When you are tested and you overcome your tests, there you know that you know who is behind you. Be accessible but unstoppable. Paul did not stop you know, preaching the word of God. Did he stop you know, moving? No, he continued. I remember one day he was reminded by his people to say, you want to go to Jerusalem? They are going to arrest you there. Did he stop? No. He went to Jerusalem because Jesus was the one who was leading his life. Even in our marriage, people of God, don't trust the way that you know we, we, we speak to each other. Ani, sweetie, baby, ani, sweetie, baby. When you are at peace, Satana is not happy. He will try by all means to create that confusion within your marriage. But if Jesus is there in that house, that marriage will not fall. What you are going through is not the end of your journey. No, but the beginning of your success. What is wrong? Which one do you want? Inchito, Nangula Heo. After an act of contributing Pia Kuchechi, if you have been for one Kunchito. Are you going to give again? He said, he didn't have my problems in his He said, no, and then you start now asking wrong people. People are thinking like you. 
Hai ni ndefu anjipu sheko. Kwa liba wapela siye. Bakuta mfie nchutu. Wapela bakui bila waka bualala. Kwa liba siyo. Ah, takwaba. Takwaba inenda pela. Mula pela gift ya nita ichita provoku satana mperele chilumba. Nga wapela satana muna tiyama blessings ya rino kuloka. Afwire akusunkanya. If Jesus is not the one who give you to I mean who told you to give you will stop giving You will stop what giving Ah na upafye ulio mwana kashi na upafye fufi nefo na motoka yanoka Nani wanokesha motoka Mwana kashi e wingire mu engine Devil knew that if I allow these people to be at peace the way they are, they are going to move mountain. Let me go in and scatter the peace so that this marriage will not stand again. You start now blaming your partner. No, you don't have the neka. Even to fear the devil will be dancing and say, Look, you say you are a child of God. Do you hear from your father? Because if you hear from him, he will tell you that what you are going through is just a test of your faith. After this, you buy another car. That is life in the spirit. That is what? Life in the spirit. Listen to verse 10. Once we are not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received the mercy, but now you have received the mercy. This is what you know provoking Satan. When devil sees that you know God is interested in your life, he will try by all means to disfocus you. Are you a child of God by confession or by faith? Be accessible but unstoppable. Apostle Paul was persecuted, arrested, beaten. Insulted, did he quit the work of God? The answer is no, he did not quit. He continued preaching the word, praying for people. You remember what happened to Peter and John? After praying for that man who was just, you know, begging. The apostles were arrested. Locked up. Because of prayer. Is it a crime that you pray for someone and that person became, you know, uh, okay? It's not a crime. Mulebo mbe mirimo pache chingaba miyamba tina lalika. You are working for the pastor. If you are working for Jesus, you will not stop. It's like they are encouraging you to do more and more. So my message to you, be accessible, but unstoppable. Tell your neighbor, say, be accessible, but unstoppable. Say it again. Yes. If you look at the journey of the apostles, if Jesus was not there with them, what they went through was enough for them to learn now and say, no, 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 no. No one can save God. And being, you know, being persecuted, beaten, locked up. What have we done? Saving this man is a crime. No, let's go back to the, the job we used to do before now. But they continued saving Jesus even in a hard situation. So what you are going through, people of God, was not, you know, to destroy you, but to allow God to demonstrate his power through that condition. So that even those who are doubting God, they are going to learn through to say, yes, this is Jesus. So stop complaining. Thank you. God bless you.